Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. We've got my co-host here, Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And we have Dan Richards from Remax Northwest. Now you have a friend in Seattle. Dan, thank you for stopping by. Wait, Absolutely. wait, so wait, Bye. wait, Dan, Dan, I just want to let you know you're going to get this here. You're from Seattle, and there is a thing called Seattle's Best. I know what they're known for, but I have a question for you, Jim Meyer. Yes. What's in your mug? Well, I love Seattle's Best coffee, and then, of course, you've got Starbucks. Isn't that from Seattle also? It is. Um, But my coffee, uh, it's actually costing me more and more and I'm getting less and less. I call it the Gavin Newsom coffee. So, uh, Dan, thank you for stopping by. Uh, Dan, you're selling real estate in um, Seattle. Am I right? right. And yes. there are a few people. I don't know if you've heard the rumor, but there are a lot of people leaving California saying goodbye to Gavin Newsom and going to Seattle. Are you seeing that? Um. You know, we've had a lot of movement back and forth for the last 10 to 12 years, mm -hmm. mostly because of high tech. So that I've been really used to, especially between Seattle and the, the San Francisco greater area. That's been really common. We're probably getting people now that are also relocating this direction. Uh, I'm assuming because they love rain and they love the green. Mm -hmm. And we have people who are often moving away from this area for the opposite reasons, because they wanted to be drier and warmer and sunnier. Oh, really? Okay. So, so if somebody uh, says, "I'm living in San Francisco right now. I don't want a homeless uh, encampment in front of my house. I'm ready to leave." Uh, they they look at Seattle. They go, "Are they going to just stay there a few years and then say yeah, I can't deal with it? Or I want something else?" Or uh, for the most part. Uh, are you are you finding people that are going to stick with it and they're going to love it? Well, both. It just depends a little bit on who the person is. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes we get people that come into this area where they have a high need for heat and sun. And our winters tend to be fairly dark because of how north we are. Mm -hmm. um, we don't get a lot of heat. We do get a fair bit of rain. So for people who, like I had, a, I had a, uh, a client move from Miami one time. She lived in Miami her entire life. And the first time I met her, she said to me, um, when we have a cloudy day, I feel sad. And I was like, then don't move here. Oh, <laughs> this, yeah. this is not going to work. And she didn't last a year and she had to move back. She couldn't, she couldn't deal with what you know weather is like here. But for a lot of people, me included, I love these things about this area. I like that it doesn't get really hot in the summer. I like that we have greenery all around us all year long, everywhere we look. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful area. You just have to be able to deal with a couple things about it that go along with that. So it's not uncommon that people will live here until retirement and then sometimes move like to Arizona in retirement, to Southern California in retirement, someplace that is warmer and drier because they kind of feel like we did our 30 years in Seattle and now we want to go have a different experience. Interesting. Jim, do you have a follow-up uh, question to Dan? Yeah. I want to see from your perspective, your personal opinion, have you been in California? I have. Yeah. In fact, my daughter uh, just was living in LA for three years. So we were spending quite a bit of time down there. Real estate in California versus Seattle. Just a quick question. Where would you want to live? Well, from a real estate standpoint, our real estate market has been really strong for a really long time. I don't know that that's a whole lot different from California, but I will say that we're probably as protected of an area going into the future as I think anywhere is going to be. So meaning this is going to continue to be a highly desirable area. It's going to continue to bring in high tech uh, folk into it. And home values have been really strong and stable, and I expect they'll stay that way. So those are all like really good positives if you're thinking from a homeowner standpoint. 
it's a tough area to come into as a renter because it's expensive to rent here. So if you were coming in on a pretty limited income, then home buying can be pretty difficult to do in the area. So it fits really well for people who are coming in in uh, well-paying jobs, can be a little bit challenging in fields that are lower paying fields as compared to maybe some other parts of the country. Not California, yeah. but other parts of the country. Awesome. Very good. And that means that people can become a barista. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here we go. Back to you, Jim. Okay, Dan, will you come back tomorrow? Let's talk about interest rates tomorrow. How's that? Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to see you guys again tomorrow for another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms.